I have yet to find a decent USB controller for the classic gaming system, but this iBuffalo controller, from what I've heard, is the best one. And at least that's what all the reviews I've read on the internet said. But let me tell you, I am not impressed. So, let me show you why here. Power on my Pi. I'm actually starting to like that uh, Rasp Tendo there. I still gotta do something about that light back there though. But here we go, booting up RetroPie. Here's my controller. Booting into Emulation Station. Let's just... All right, I am not even going to touch this controller here and just just check this out. See, it should just stay on that that uh, harmony of dissonance right there. Yeah, I'm gonna need to reshoot this probably because this controller is gonna make a liar out of me. Haha. <laughs> yeah. There it goes. See? <laughs> I did not even touch it. I'm getting phantom input on this thing. Horrible. 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 So, yeah. I'm not sure why everyone recommends this iBuffalo controller, but I am not impressed with it. I've still yet to find a decent USB controller. Yeah, phantom input. Just see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not good. Not good. The D-pad, I mean, it's okay. It feels nice. Um, not perfect. You can kind of move back and forth just by... Yeah. Not perfect, but... I mean, it's okay, but... The, the phantom input thing, that's just... Eesh. Cannot recommend this.